the Lingfield Mile Maiden next then, and big field for this one. Maiden still in week four. Have a look at the field then as it comes through. It's a Mile Maiden for two olds this one, and it's Itty Quitter Negra for Cabeza T. Lovejoy for Obi One, Mr. Yes, Derek Hinton, Protocol, Paul Rhodes, The Gunslinger, Josh Whistler, and Tom Ridge, Jim Murray, Tomahawk Ridge. Graham Clutterbuck, Vela Train, Darren Thompson, Dells Angels, Derek Hinton, Dina, Carla Agante, Flower Ridge, Jim Murray, K.O., Martin Little, Landlady, Paul Rhodes, Lingus, David Robertson, Night and Day, Joshua Sutherland, New Donna, Molly Et Surfer, Percussion, Barra Amster, for Kabatha too, I think that is talent for Darren Howes, and Zappa Cat for Hilltop Stables, 19 then on the all-weather track, this could be uh, heartbreak time for those wide, it's a little bit too big a field, but there you go, Away they go, and are the ones drawn on the inside going to take advantage of that inside draw? Doesn't look like it because KO was drawn one and he's almost last already. But it's Percussion Barra Amster who's coming through to take the lead, or at least to share it with Time Ridge and Flower Ridge, the two Jim Murray horses, then Lovejoy and Landlady and Dina, and they've already opened up a two length gap over the remainder who are headed by, well, Landlady actually, this is Protocol. Who's in front of me? Two poor Rhodes horses. So it's Percussion Barrett Amster in the lead then from Flower Ridge, Lovejoy Protocol, Time Ridge, and Dina. That's the leading group. Little gap then to Landlady, New Donna, and the Gunslinger. The one that's really wide on the track. Talent. They might as well pull that one up now and save it for next week. Same with Dell's Angels, I'd think. But it's Percussion Barrett Amster who comes down to the four furlong pole with a clear lead of about three or four lengths to Protocol in the Pale Jacket. The Yellow of Lovejoy next, then the two Jim Murray horses, Flower Ridge and Time Ridge, virtually together. Then Dina for Carl Aragante after that one. Night and Day is now making a forward move. New Donna is looking for racing room. So too is the Gunslinger, but it's Percussion Barrett Amster still in front by about a length to Protocol in second. Dina now makes a forward move in third. Flower Ridge is the outside one of the Jim Murray pair. Orton's being pressed by night and day but now all of a sudden the leader gives way and drops back through the field like a stone as Dina goes on it's Dina from Protocol and night and day and then New Donna they're into the final furlong now and then Dina's in front but here comes night and day on the outside Protocol on the inside the two big ones going for it now and it's night and day in the lead night and day from Protocol finishing like a train it's Landlady but it's night and day he's got first one night and day now Landlady and here comes the Gunslinger and it's got to be mighty close with Zappacat coming up on the outside as well and goodness me the complexion of that race changed about four times in the final half furlong and Zappa Cat the grade from absolutely nowhere may have won I think he has I think he's got up and taken it I think he's outgunned the gunslinger with the landlady back in third waiting for the rent well Zappa Cat came from nowhere and has won it by short end Zappacat for John Morgan the winner the gunslinger unlucky for Joshua Sutherland second landlady for Paul Rhodes third Vela Train for Darren Thompson was fourth and night and day for Joshua Sutherland was fifth